on YouTube, this is JJ714, we're coming back at you. Um, my husband and daughter and I, and I'm running back and forth between making videos or watching the World Cup, the United States and Japan, and the United States is leading 2-1, two to one, but now the score is 2-2. Two to two. So, whoever is the best team will win, but I'm real playing USA, go, go, go. <laughs> but now, what I want to talk about is technology. Um, I am a person who, I love technology, um, I just think that as you get older, it's really good to be able to know how to use the computer, how to use the internet, um, how to be able to just communicate, because um, we're finding that our economy is becoming more global. Um, you know, having family members in the military, being a former military person myself, um, I just like technology. And so now I'm in the midst of upgrading my phone as well as looking at purchasing um, some type of tablet. Um, I have waited for over a year now since the iPad has been out. As a matter of fact, the iPad 2 is out. But um, my thing is determining what is the right product and being able to pick the right product for what I will need it for. Now, true enough, I have my laptop. So in all honesty, I really do not need to have something else. But um, I do travel a lot. My family and I travel a lot. Um, I'll be going on a cruise next um, March, so I want to be able to have technology that is light enough to carry without having to, you know, carry so many different bags, and then I know we'll be going through customs and so forth, so I want to have something that I will be able to put in my purse and, you know, be able to know that it's still there <laughs> without packing and having to be concerned with, you know, not coming home with my goods. So what I have been looking at is um, I have a Blackberry right now and I was a what you would call a true Blackberry fan. But after having my Blackberry for a couple years I am having challenges and to be honest in all fairness it is not the product, it's the accessories that I'm having a challenge with. And I know I could just easily go out and buy a battery, but I have a, a thing with if I'm paying a fee and I have paid for my phone and so forth and then I'm having problems, but the problem is not the phone, it's the battery. And I know I can go out and buy another battery, but I just refuse to. So I've always wanted an iPhone, however, when AT&T was carrying it exclusively, I have not been a fan of AT&T. Um, I just felt like they were, you know, at one point when they were, were monopolizing everything, they did, They had terrible customer service. That's just my opinion of what I have experienced because I did have them um, a, years ago, probably over 10 or 20, 15 years ago. And I just never had a positive interaction with their customer service people. So. When the iPhone came out, I really wanted it. When the iPhone 2 came out, I really wanted it. But guess what? I said, if Verizon does not come up with an iPhone or come out with where they can be, um, you know, a retailer for iPhone, I won't get an iPhone. <laughs> so now they have, you know, come up there, you know, um, retailer for the iPhone as well as the iPad as well as some Android um, ran devices, tablets, and phones, and I have been searching and trying to determine um, what it is that I want to do. I know I want to get an iPhone. If I get an iPhone, it would be more reasonable to get an iPad. However, I've been hearing about the iPad does not carry the, um, I'm trying to think what it's called, but the flash. Apparently, if you want to download movies and so forth from other sources other than Apple, you cannot do that with iPads. Apparently, the way that Steve Jobs has set it up, you know, um, you have to be an Apple loyal list. 
And I, for one, feel like my product, whatever I purchase, I should be able to, you know, download um, applications or movies from whatever source. I should not be um, just confined to Apple products because Apple can be expensive. <laughs> and so, you know, the great debate, I remember when I got my Kindle and before I purchased my Kindle, um, I went online. I, I tend to do a lot of research on products before I just, you know, dive in and get them, per se, especially something that costs, that's sort of pricey. And so when I went on the Kindle side, you know, there were people who were loyal to Apple and, you know, they wanted you to purchase, um, you know, the iPad because you could, you know, they had a bookstore and you could get all these and so forth, but guess what? I didn't want to purchase an iPad to read a book, so I looked at the Kindle, I loved the Kindle, I still love my Kindle, and even when I get my iPad, I will still use my Kindle. So the only difference is that my husband, he's starting to really love the idea of being able to play the um, games like the Every Word, and now he knows that my sweep is on there, which is one of his favorite games. So I figure when I get my iPad, I will let him um, use my Kindle, and I will put the Kindle app downloaded on my um, iPad so that I can continue, and we can share books and all that good stuff, too, as well. But the bottom line is, is that um, when you buy things, um, for me, and this is just a personal you know, thing that I do. I don't, you know, I'm not one of those who like to follow the crowd. If it's something that I want and I buy it, it's because I want it. I'm not an Apple groupie. I'm not, you know, um, you know, a Blackberry groupie. I'm not a groupie. I just, whatever they have out there, it's, it's within my price range, it's what I want, then that's what I get. And so, um, I'm really, really trying to distinguish. You know, I'm not, I don't consider myself a geek. Um, I'm not afraid to download software. I do read, I do, you know, if I don't understand something, I'm a person that I will get on the line and stay on the line with customer service until I do understand. So my thing is being able to be uh, technical suave, but at the same time, getting the most money for, uh, the most bang for my buck. So, um, I haven't um, upgraded my phone yet. I did, <laughs> and this is something that I tend to do as well. If I know that I'm going to get something, I'll go ahead and perhaps buy accessories. So, I did purchase my accessories, and I wish I had brought them in here so I could show you, but I guess I have to do that um, on my next video. But I did purchase um, uh, two um, cases. Well, actually three. I got one for my husband. And my husband's sort of like, you know, we had the, what was it, the Razor phones. And then I decided to upgrade us to BlackBerry. Well, my husband was happy with his Razor. He didn't want a BlackBerry. But my thing is, baby, you know, you're finishing up your MBA and everything. You're you know, going to be CPA certified, you need to have the latest. It's, it's not so much, but when you're in a certain circle, um, it, it sort of helps you if you're in the mainstream of things. Not that you have to be following behind the Joneses, but I do believe that, you know, technology is here, and then when you have the um, BlackBerry, the purpose of it at the time is I was actually, um, had my own business on the side too, so I was using my BlackBerry for business purposes. So I wanted him to have a BlackBerry so in case he was um, could use it, you know, with his work and, you know, business and so forth as well. And so now that I'm looking at upgrading to my iPhone, my husband's like, well, I don't really need the iPhone. <laughs> and so I'm like, no, you don't really need it, but, you know, I'm going to get one, so I want you to have one. <laughs> so I went out and I got him a case, which his is more, you know, a guy type. It's black, it's solid. You know, he's not into the, you know, bling bling type. And I got, 
you know, mines, which I have one that's bling bling, which is purple, and then I have one that's like a red, uh, more professional case. So I said I'll use the more professional case when I'm at work, and then I'll use a bling bling for my, you know, like weekend type affair when I go on vacation or whatever. But um, that's where I'm at, trying to determine whether or not I want to, I definitely know I'm going to get the iPhone. So chances are I'm going to get the um, um, iPad too as well. However, I might hold out for the iPad until the end of the year because there's already talk about, okay, well, since, you know, with the Android tablets, and I think there's the Samsung, um, I can't remember what it is, but it's supposed to be one of the most powerful tablets out there. So, apparently, it is going to give um, Apple a run for its money as far as being the best tablet out there. And um, I think um, Apple is already looking at, looking at putting the um, flash on there, but... Of course, they're probably going to be very selective if they put the flash on there because I think solely Apple wants to keep everything in a little box, neat box. And if that's the case, I might not be getting an iPad, but I will have my iPhone. So um, chances are I will um, get my, um, look at the Samsung more and um, by the end of the year, make a decision if I'm going to get the iPad, whatever, so two or three, or get the um, Samsung. So if you have any recommendations, you know, I'm still just uh, trying to fill the waters for the two. I've uh, actually seen the iPad. Um, my nephew, he was here last Christmas, and he actually purchased one. Um, so I did get to see him, you know, play with his a little bit. And I'll probably go to um, maybe uh, one of the uh, stores um, and just check out, you know, the tablets that they have out there. Uh, probably go to a Verizon store because I think Verizon has, uh, you know, there's, they have quite a few tablets that they actually sell. So I want to actually be able to go out and play with them and, you know, maybe get an idea of what I really want. So with that, if you have any comments. Please let me know, and I might go back and get my um, cases and come back and just do a quick blurb on that so you'll see the cases, because I like them. Talk to you later. Bye.